The theme of this convention, the power of community, is extremely relevant to the WA Strata community and its relationship with energy use. You manage schemes of all types and ages, from the oldest to the brand new and everything in between. However, renewables in WA, such as solar, is surprisingly rare. Statistics show only 9% of strata schemes nationwide have solar installed, and the figures are far lower in WA. So why? When solar take-up has boomed in the green title residential sector, as over one third of our suburban neighbours now have solar, and last year generated approximately 24% of the energy consumed in the southwest grid. It's not surprising that res residential scheme owners are unaware of their environmental footprint, having never measured their building's efficiency. But our neighbours in the commercial office space have had neighbours' energy ratings since 2008. And most strata schemes are not aware that they have a pricing advantage. They have the power of choice to access cheaper electricity from the contestable energy market via the embedded network model. And many schemes that are not currently configured that way are eligible. In WA, universities, airports, industrial centres, offices, retail centres and over 450 strata schemes are saving up to 30% on their annual energy costs compared to schemes where each lot has an account directly with Synergy or a third party. So why does this matter? In July this year, the federal government legislated Australia's greenhouse gas emissions reduction target, a 43% reduction as measured from 2005 levels by 2030 and net zero by 2050. Concurrently, the WA government is regulating to shift our generation sources to renewable energy over the next seven plus years via an energy transformation strategy, which is in full swing and culminates in the decommissioning of the carbon intensive state-owned coal generation plant located in Collie by 2029. Their strategy is to electrify our economy, encouraging a monumental shift from the petrol bowser to the power point with EV take up and the property sector is impacted by the strategy. Based on current prices, charging an EV with electricity is one fifth of the cost compared to filling a car with petrol. This means our privately owned car parks will need to become the EV charging stations of the future if we are to play our part in the electrification transition. This shift will require preparation, provisioning, planning and funding. So having outlined all of this, shouldn't we ask ourselves, why is there such limited take up of renewables, environmental ratings and cheaper energy options by the strata sector in WA? With renewables, is it because we don't have suitable roof structures and adequate space, maybe, but many schemes have plenty of roof space and car park shading structures to deploy solar? Or does the complexity of strata decision making hinder the approvals process? Possibly, but there are feasibilities and roadmaps that can simplify decision making with equitable pathways and solutions. Is it because strata schemes aren't aware of the benefits derived from measuring building efficiency using environmental ratings, such as neighbours for apartment buildings? Maybe, but the sector can benefit hugely from committing to measure energy and rate the emissions as a first step to driving reductions. Is it because strata schemes don't know that they have the power of choice to access cheaper electricity, in many cases up to 30%? Maybe. But for most schemes, electricity costs are the largest operational cost and the list of capital refurb projects that could benefit from deriving an ongoing income stream is long. It's encouraging to see people have a growing social conscience regarding our environment and want to see more being done. However, many possibly don't understand where to start and that we need to act now as the energy and property space is about to change significantly over the next seven years, largely due to the impacts the electrical vehicle take up is having on our society. Just maybe if we can help our strata owners better understand their renewable and EV charging options, the energy rating at their complex, the embedded network options available to them, and that in many cases, that this can often be funded with minimal out-of-pocket expenses, they may just become more inclined to act.